Hi there, my name is Jeremy Thomas, and I'm an author and a speaker, and I give talks on good mental health. And there's a lot of talk about good mental health these days, but what is it? What is good mental health? What is being sane and what's being insane? Well, sanity, very, very simply, in my opinion, is when we are balanced, when we have balance. We make balanced decisions, balanced judgments, and we react in a balanced manner. And the opposite is true of somebody who's not very well. So in business, it's quite important to make sure that people have that balance and are, are looked after. And just like you can have a balanced diet and all that sort of stuff, well, so, you know, you want to have a balanced mind. And um, in my talks, normally, I go and talk to people and I talk about my own experience of really losing balance, quite seriously, badly, uh, with bipolar disorder, uh, which cost me a house and cost me all sorts of things. But it was also, the talk is also how I got well. And that's really, really important. And I talk about having a toolkit. You know, a toolkit that you're going to use to uh, prevent, hopefully, things going wrong. And let's just talk very quickly about some of those things in the toolkit. One of the big offenders, one of the big causes of poor mental health is stress. Stress, that dreaded thing that we get. And the granddaddy of stress, let's just talk about the granddaddy first, is known as trauma. And trauma is when really serious things happen, as in somebody dies, a bereavement, uh, a divorce, uh, a relocation, um, very, very serious illness, being let go, being fired, being made redundant. These are big items in anyone's life. And the trick is to be in good mental condition to deal with them. And if you, and if you are, you will. You'll roll with the punches. It's not that you won't be upset by it, but you won't be knocked on your back. And a lot of problems with uh, mental health come from small things um, amalgamating into a lot. And that's particularly true of stress. And it might be that it might be financial problems. It might be that somebody's bullying you at work. Uh, it, it, it might be that you're, you have trying to sell your house and you haven't. And those are the, those are the big things. Um, all sorts of things can give us stress. You know, traveling to work in a traffic jam every day, and then having to see that person at reception we don't really like. It can all add up. And when it all adds up, it, it overwhelms us. And, uh, and it knocks us to six, and it affects our sleep. And then we can't sleep because we're stressed. We're really thinking about this. And now I can't think, I'm thinking about I can't sleep. That adds to my stress. And then I'm thinking I'm really angry. I'm so angry. And that person keeps doing that to me. And either I react, I overreact, punching somebody, you know, picking up the laptop and whacking them over the head with it, or I'm the type of person who goes, uh, I don't do anger, uh, actually, I just, I stuff all this stuff down, you see, and that's the way it's all going to be okay, my life's going to be great. <laughs> and it's not going to be great. You know, suppressed anger is depression. Very often, depression is caused by suppressed anger. And if it's not that, it is going to explode one day. So the trick is to head it off at the pass when it starts to happen. And that can be, with anger, you know, actually saying to the person who's made you angry, if that's it, you've made me really angry. I'm furious with you. It doesn't mean you you have to get violent. Or you go out and you take a pillow and you take it into the back of the car park where no one's looking 
and you kick it to death. You take your electric guitar, you play it at 11. Uh, uh, really loud, I'm Jimi Hendrix. Um, whatever it is, let it out. Sing it in a choir. Write it down. Writing is great therapy, believe me. You don't have to show it to the whole company. You write it down. And all I believe is that prevention is better than cure. I really do believe that. And the more you can do uh, to work on this, it's just like physical stuff. I go to the gym, I eat really healthily, you know, I sleep and I take vitamins. Well, why can't you do that mentally? You can. It's just actually knowing how to do it. Um, and it's... You know, it's really, 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 really important because if we have good mental health, think, remember, we have our decision-making, we have our good judgment, and we're going to react well. And in a business, that is trez, trez important. Thank you so much for listening. Happy Christmas. <laughs>